Hey guys, this is Slyman. Today's review will be looking at the Celestron F6.3 focal reducer, and it's also a corrector as well. Uh, there's quite a few benefits to using a focal reducer, and we'll discuss those today, but uh, just as a preview, this thing is awesome. Okay, so one thing that I did notice with the uh, Celestron F6.3 reducer, um, corrector lens, whatever you want to call it, is the instruction manual is really good and that's pretty rare for Celestron products. Usually I found the manual to be not very useful at all, um, but it does tell you you know, what the focal reducer is used for, the applications that you can use it, and uh, you know how to install it and things like that, and how to properly clean it if you do uh, get dust on it or whatnot. So the, the Celestron manual that it comes with is actually uh, really good. Installing the focal reducer is a really easy thing to do. All you need to do is unscrew the visual back from the rear cell of your Schmidt Cassegrain telescope, like this, or any other accessory that you have attached to the rear cell. And that's going to open the end of your uh, telescope up. Then simply grab the F6.3 uh, reducer lens and screw it on there. Being very careful not to touch it. Just like that. Now simply reattach your visual back. And just like that, it took about two seconds and you're ready to go. One thing that I also really like about the focal reducer is it pushes out the visual back a little bit uh, about by about three-fourths of an inch. Um, and what that does is sometimes when I would observe, uh, the visual back would be straight against the telescope tube and I'd hit my face against the telescope tube. But the focal reducer pushes it out a little bit so that your eyepiece is out here, um, not about up here. So you get some more room with the focal reducer on and it just makes it look cooler. So there's two extra benefits of using a focal reducer. Another reason that I really like the Celestron F6.3 reducer lens is it, it has a great price tag to it. As of March 2014, it's only about $100 to get one of these and it's probably the most important thing that you can get for your Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. If I was to recommend one accessory, it would be the focal reducer that you see here. It is awesome and I am constantly using mine, so it was definitely worth the money for me to, to pick up the focal reducer. The Celestron F6.3 reducer or corrector lens uh, can only be used with Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes. I keep mine on my 8 inch and it does an amazing job. Some things you'll want to be aware of is you never ever want to touch the corrector or anytime you see dust on there try and get it off as fast as you can with you know compressed air or something um, or you can use like a, a lens cleaning wipe to clean them up and then here you have the, the inside and it uses uh, convex lenses to reduce your focal length so that's uh, that's how it works and uh, let's just jump in to let you know what it's gonna do for your visual use and for your images and it's going to affect your images a lot more than your visual use but it is still awesome to have for visual use. Okay so if we look at an image without using the focal reducer we can see that the sun is cut off at the top and bottom. Uh, the sunspots are definitely uh, there you can see them but they're not too too sharp or too clear. Now if we compare that to an image using the focal reducer, we see that we get the full disk of the sun easily. The focus looks better because it's at a lower focal length and it's really crisp and flat across the field. So the, the focal reducer definitely makes a difference there. Some really cool things that I do like about the, uh, the focal reducer is it has a uh, really thick rubber texturing on here, which makes it uh, uh, really easy to screw on. Uh, if you've ever tried screwing the visual back on at night, you know it's really hard. But the uh, the focal reducer makes it easy, and then obviously it just has the the reverse threads for when you uh, attach a you know a camera 
or a, a visual back or whatever it may be back onto the telescope. It is uh, pretty solid. Um, it's not going to break on you. It's made out of a, a nice aluminum it feels like here and like I said that texturing is nice and then obviously you have your your plastic covers that you'll always want to use. Um, which leads me into something nice about the focal reducer is you can always keep this on your your uh, your telescope and it will seal the optics so that no dust or anything gets in there. So if you want to do that, you can seal your telescope with the focal reducer. And that's something that I found is really cool that you can do with it. Okay, so diving right in, let's talk about what the focal reducer will do for your visual use. Uh, if you let's say you're using this 32 millimeter eyepiece to look at the double cluster and you're getting a nice crisp view you're getting both set of clusters and they look really good well if you put on the focal reducer you're gonna get an even wider field of view it'll uh, push out that field, field of view a little bit so you're gonna get a crisper double cluster and more stars in your field of view and it's also going to reduce the field curvature that you get and that's why it's also called a corrector is because it does flatten your field so for visual use I almost always use my focal reducer unless I'm in, uh, viewing planets and the reason that is is like I said it it widens your field of view and for planets you want a narrow field of view because they're so bright already and you want some magnification so you can see the detail in them so for planets I don't use the focal reducer but for pretty much everything else I do. So for visual use, the uh, Celestron F6.3 reducer is perfect. I love it. And it, it's not too high of a reduction. It's not too low. It's really good right there at 6.3. Using the focal reducer for astrophotography is pretty much a must in my opinion. What it's going to do is it is going to brighten your image so you're going to have to take less exposure times which is really nice or you could take the same exposure time as you were before and get more color or more data and more photons in there it's going to widen your field of view just like it will do for your eyepieces and it's also going to introduce a little thing called vignetting um, which can be fixed using flat frames uh, if you want to know more about how focal reducer works, you can check out my video and you'll see that in the top right corner here. Um, so uh, a focal reducer really does amazing things for imaging. It, the corrector will flatten the field curvature just like it will for your eyepieces. And that's a big thing for imaging. Your, your stars are going to be less bloated. They're going to be the same size across the field, uh, depending on their real sizes, of course. but there's not going to be any stretching or bloating unless you have a, a bad polar alignment. So the focal reducer really is a, a reducer and a corrector all in one. For $100, I, I just don't think it can be beat. And it is pretty much a must-have for astrophotography. If you're trying to image at 2032 millimeters with the 8-inch telescope, it's really hard to get uh, stars that are you know not stretched. It's hard to auto-guide. Um, and really just any deep sky imaging is hard at that focal length. So with the focal reducer at uh, 1,280 millimeters on the 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrain, uh, it's way easier to image. The images look way better in my opinion and it's a must have for imaging. So this, this product is almost 100% of the time always on my telescope. Well that concludes my review of the Celestron F6.3 reducer lens or corrector lens. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video.